And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. My name is Gabor, and today it's time for some more unboxing. And I'm unboxing these. And uh, the good folks at Two Notes sent us the Revolt guitar and bass analog amp sim pedals. Uh, and I thought uh, I'll get them in another box, plug them in for the first time, or the guitar one anyway. Um, yeah, and see uh, how it sounds uh, and how intuitive it is to use and all that sort of stuff. So there's uh, timestamps for everything below um, or chapter marks, whatever you want to call it. Uh, also, just want to mention, just to be safe, this was supplied by Two Notes. So big thank you to uh, all the good folks at Two Notes. Now, um, this is the guitar one. Now, let's check out the box. So we've got... Uh, that's what the front looks like. Three channel amp, sim, preamp, DI, analog cap sim, effects loop, and MIDI. It's got a four cable method switch, a cap sim switch, an auxiliary in, and a headphones in. Uh, other side, we have all the outputs. We've got an in, a send and return effects loop. We've got an output. Uh, we've got small, uh, the sort of headphone jack size MIDI that you convert to a normal MIDI dim, a ground lift, and an XLR balanced output, and it's a 12 volt, 600 milliamp um, power supply. Triple threads, sublime cleans, overdriven, overdriven raunch, is that what it says? Raunch, or gnarliest of metal tones. It does it all. Three channels, a little tube in the middle, but it looks a bit, uh, so there's a, f a bass and treble gain and volume for the clean channel. Then there's a shared EQ for the crunch and lead, uh, but a separate gain and volume for the uh, crunch and lead and a separate boost. Uh, now, and it's a similar sort of thing for the bass one. Now, uh, through the magic of uh, television, uh, this is actually already done. So this is the Revolt guitar. It's here. I haven't tried it yet. I've just got it out of the box and did this. Now I'm going to get into that shortly, but if you want to see an, a sort of an unboxing, I'm going to unbox the base one now just to see, so you can see what's in the box. Uh, but again, chapter marks, skip ahead if you don't want to see that. So let's get this out of here. Um, it's a nice box. So if you open the box, And this is what it looks like. So this is the base one. We've all base. Oh, and things are flying. Uh, so we have a quick start guide. It was the same for the guitar one. We have a, ooh, a, a de, de, demar, de, demarrage rapide. <laughs> demarrage rapide. De guide 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 de démarrage rapide, the French version of it, and being fluently French, uh, <laughs> no. Um, oh, and then we have uh, some stickers in here. Uh, that came in a guitar one as well. Uh, power supplies in here, uh, and then this is what the base one looks like. And there's a gel thingy thing inside. Uh, we won't look at the Demarrage Rapide at the moment. Um, I'll put that over here. So we'll, we'll do a video with the base one too, um, Alex and I. Eh? Um, I might even, if I feel wild, should I feel wild? Maybe I'll even plug the guitar into the base one later on. <laughs> That would be crazy. Now, let's take a look. So this looks basically exactly the same. It's just black. The other one is sort of silver. This one's black. So this is the bass version. So you've got um, gain, volume, bass, treble, gain, volume, gain, volume. Yeah, it's just, oh, it, the only difference here, you have a dry, wet mix. You don't have a boost. Uh, and the dry, wet blend is on the drive chain. So you've got clean, dirt, and drive. Um, same, yeah, same ins and outs, same effects loop, um, same up the front, the four cable method switch, the cap sim switch, auxiliary in, and headphone switch. So they're basically, they're the same, just one is black and for bass, and one is silver and for guitar. Now, uh, let's just start with this and plug it in and see what it does. Uh, so at first I'm gonna use it, I have the cap sim switch 
on. So I'm just going now, set up. I'm using my um, Parts Master Caster, Blaster Master Caster, Blaster Caster, there's a video for it here. That goes straight into my Peters and Strober Stomp HD Tuner, which I'm turning off now. Uh, and from there, it goes straight into here and then via XLR straight into Logic. Um, now, a little later on, I'm going to turn off the cap sim and use the two notes to Peter Wall of Sound as well, which hopefully you can see on the screen now as well. But I've got that turned off at the moment. So this is the bypass signal, just going straight into Logic, uh, neck pickup. Everything at 12 o'clock, let's start with a clean channel. Just that sounds pretty good, maybe a little bit more treble. Quite an active EQ. Let's see the gain range, let's turn it right down. and logic a bit but even with the gain on full it stays fairly clean I think I'm clipping things it compresses quite a bit with the gain all the way up let's go to gain about somewhere in the middle again now I believe uh, if you press the button again yeah so the light goes red where the tube is. Oh, and then you have the boost here. Oh, I think I'm overdriving things. It gets very loud very quickly. But it, the boost sounds to me like it's in the front. two very distinctively different sounds. I mean, that's a clean channel. Um, I think it sounds pretty good. It compresses nicely as you turn the, the gain up. It feels like when you turn an amp up and the amp compresses naturally. Volume could be not an issue, but a little bit of a, like, you know, playing around with getting the volume right. That gets much louder. That's a clean. Let's try the crunch. Now, I wonder actually, okay, so if I'm on the booster channel here, and if I go to this, does it remember that I was on a booster channel? No. Now, I wonder if you can set that up somehow, that you can go between channels and you say, oh, I want to go to the lead channel, but I always want to boost it, or I've got to the crunch channel, I always want to boost it, or I don't particularly want the clean clean. I like the boosted clean. Uh, so I want that always on. I wonder if there's a way to, to set that up. But like I said, first impressions, I know nothing about this or very little about this. Full video's coming. Okay, crunch channel. That sounds great. Okay, so shared EQ. That sounds great. That's definitely very martially. It's a very martially sound.
that's a good, good, like, hot rod, it's sort of Marshall sound. But that, if you turn the gain down a bit, that sounds great. So you've got like a lower crunch channel. With the boost, it goes. That sounds great. Okay, leads. Every low gain there too, and it's just a different flavor. Slightly different flavor drive. Can we can we scoop it a little bit? The EQ is very active, so there's a lot of sounds you can get out of it. Just by moving the mids up and down a bit. It sounds really good. Okay, now let's go to the clean channel. Let's turn the, or actually let's go drive channel because you can really hear it there. Let's turn the caps him off. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Now, uh, let's go to uh, the two notes torpedo wall of sound. Now this is just kind of like the pre, the default kind of thing. Um, the British vintage C with a dynamic 57. Uh, now let's turn, actually let's just, Turn it on, let's try it without the power amp simulation and then with the power amp simulation. So this is just the speaker now. Default. Oh, hang on, that's mono now, isn't it? Uh, so let's turn the other one off too. So we've got both on now. Let's link. Let's on a power amp on. Is it on both? Yeah, that's on both. Okay, so six or six is. Crank the power amp a bit to get more power amp saturation. That sounds great. Okay, so six or sixes, I like them so far. EL 34s. Probably like six or six is better so far. Uh, EL 84. Great. 
get to, let's try KD88. <laughs> Let's add some reverb. Sounds great. I like the KD88s. Oh, sixes, sixes. Six is a lot more bottom end. I think that sounds great. Uh, it's on a reverb off again. I mean, I haven't got any of the EQ or anything. This is just. I mean, the idea is that you could use that in conjunction with the. Uh, um, cab M by two notes. I was really kind of hoping that that was sort of in there as well, that there was some sort of, uh, you know, where you can put IRs in it. Even though in saying that, the built in analog IRs, whatever that means, so I think it's a frequency compensated thing, which is kind of weird for two notes, but uh, it sounds fine. But I mean, you have, if you're doing this or if you're using a cab M, uh, you have way more um, different sounds at your disposal. <laughs> I gotta say I liked the uh, six or six. Maybe almost a bit much. Caddy eighty eight. For the clean, I like the Caddy eighty eight. Maybe a bit more volume. And I mean, then the world is your oyster. I mean, you can change. You know, you can make it a, a, a 4x10. Do I have any 4x10s? I've got some 4x10s. What about a super blue? Uh, let's go, I don't know, uh, uh, tube 47. could have the capsim on. Blend in the dry signal. Uh, I mean, then really the world is the oyster. You can go into there and, and uh, what are some presets I used to use? What about the Mesa Boogie 1x12? That sounds great. I think that sounds really, really good. Should we just quickly, for the fun of it, plug in the bass one? Yeah, let's just do that. Let's see what it sounds like. The bass revolt on guitar. Okay, bass revolt on guitar. Let's check it out. Um, actually, let's go, let's turn the wall of sound off and just go, yeah, cap sim is on. So let's go with the cap sim. <laughs> So that doesn't have a boost because it's bass. It's actually 
actually a nice clean. Let's try to clean, clean quickly with the wall of sound. Okay, dirt. Oh, the wet dry blend is only on the drive channel. Sorry, yeah, that's it's it. Peter. That actually sounds pretty cool. Let's go instead of a 1x12, let's go with a rev 4x10, 4x12. Um, with let's link him with the power amp on. Oh, that's bright. Let's send an EQ off. Let's try a different cabinet, not the Rev 4x12. Let's go, what other 4x12s do I have? Uh, what about Recto Traditional Slant? That one, Rectify Cap. Oh, connecting to server. Oh, hang on, let's... Let's not go online, let's just look at what I have on my computer. Um, let's go... Oh, uh, angle, 4x12 XXL, that's always a good To me, this has the kind of a, um, the sort of Queens of the Stone Age, uh, Stonehenge, Stone Age, Queens of the Stone Age. That sort of the like old PV amps and transistor amps. That's the sort of vibe I get from this. I don't know how that goes, but that. Sort of the vibe I get from this with like so this is the Doom Master, I uh, should mention that with a Bagley's guitar, aluminium neck, Vander guitar body, Descendant vibrato, Mastery bridge, Curtis Novak Thunderbird bass for guitar pickups, um, uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, uh, Herod, uh, Justin Hermes anodized pickguard and string switch noise wiring. <laughs> You can use it on guitar, but I mean, why not get the guitar one if you want to play guitar? But we'll do a video of it on bass as well. Oh yeah, and if you press those two buttons on both of them, it goes to bypass mode. 
Okay, so that was a quick first look uh, at the Revolt bass and guitar um, by the good folks at Two Notes. Uh, if you watch the channel, uh, have, if you have been watching the channel for a while, you know we've been uh, Two Notes users for a while, so we've been good friends with Two Notes. I even did a video, I linked to it here, where I talked to Guillaume at 42 Gear Street a few years ago, where uh, Henning, uh, Guillaume literally just arrived and Henning just said, Gabor, Guillaume, go and do a video. And we kind of looked at each other going, what, 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 what? It was one of the very first videos filmed at 42 Gear Street that year. Um, as we are still setting up. So yeah, I linked to that video. So yeah, big thank you to Two Notes. Uh, like I said, long time user. There's a Two Notes Torpedo Live here too. I've got a cab in here as well. There's a captor. Can you see it? Oh no, it's behind an amp. It's down there. Um, so yeah, to, long, long time Two Notes user. I love their stuff. Uh, I always think they make amazing stuff. Uh, and yeah, we'll get into this. It sounds, first impression, it sounds really good actually with the uh, built-in cap sim. I wish they had a bit more of a, like a integration where you could even just store some presets, you know, not necessarily have a thing where you could do everything on here, but maybe just store a couple of presets that you do on their software, store them on here so you can use that on it. That would have been cool, but I guess it's a lot of stuff to fit into one little box. So uh, if there's anything in particular you want us to do with these pedals for the videos, let us know in the comments below. Full videos coming out soon. Big thank you to Two Notes. Big thank you to all you people for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.